second week of AJ Armstrong's third murder or third trial for the murder of his parents has come to a close. The prosecution rested today and the defense began to present its case. Our Courtney Fisher has covered this story and the two previous trials from day one. Courtney, walk us through what happened today. Yeah, good evening, Erica. Today we heard from the Armstrong family members. A couple of them, three of them, in fact, took the stand. Kayra Armstrong, AJ's younger sister, she was just 12 years old at the time of the murders. And remember, she's the only other surviving family member who was in the house when Dawn and Antonio Sr. were killed. And as she took us through that night, there was a heaviness, a quietness that settled over the courtroom. Kayra describing her family first is very close. AJ, her older brother Josh, herself, all loved their parents. And she said in turn, Donna and Antonio Sr. adored all three of them. Kayra walked us through that night before the murder. She said it was like any other night. AJ and herself sitting on her parents' bed, the four of them just talking. Kayra said then she went downstairs with her mom to eat some queso. AJ went up to the third floor, his room, to bed. Then Kayra says she set the house alarm and went to sleep herself. Kayra told the jury AJ was acting, quote, normal. The next thing Kayra says she remembered was being shaken awake by AJ telling her to get up. She says AJ led her down the stairs. She saw police officers outside the front door flashing lights. Of course, she had no idea her life would never be the same. Kayra said that when she got outside, officers separated her and her brother, put them both in the back of HPD cars. AJ was handcuffed and eventually, as we know, was driven away. Kayra told her truth to the jury for just about an hour and at the end, tears swelling in her eyes. And then it was the state's turn to question her. But in a poignant moment, one of the prosecutors stood up saying, Kayra, you were just 12 years old when this happened. It has been seven years. And then the prosecutor said they had no questions for her. Now, AJ's grandmother, we know her to be a rock for this family. We know that AJ lived with her after the murder. She also took the stand and she told the jury that AJ was, quote, a normal, goofy 16 year old kid who, yeah, sure, sometimes lied to his parents, but that doesn't make him a killer. Because at the end of the day, we heard from five witnesses for the defense. Their case is not done. But the judge told jurors this. She said, come to court Monday and pack a bag so we can assume they will be sequestered when they eventually hear closings and then go into deliberations. Of course, we'll be there when trial resumes on Monday at 8.30 a.m.